Hi, my name is Simon Cotter. I am Senior Manager in the Product Management Team for Linux and Virtualization at Oracle. And, and today I'm going to share with you uh, a quick example on, on how Oracle VM VirtualBox can help a company with remote workers and remote workers that have used also to, to work with critical applications that so require uh, a sort of secured access. So, yeah, this is the standard Oracle VM VirtualBox installation running on my own Mac. Um, as you can see, I'm running one of the latest uh, VirtualBox 6.1 release. Uh, let's now see how to import uh, the appliance that I received from the company. So suppose that I'm, I'm the remote worker. This is my personal laptop. It's a Mac. And, 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 and in this example, the company requires me to use uh, a Linux operating system to, to get access to, to, to the company or to get access to everything related to, to the workload running uh, within my company or the, the company uh, that I work for. Uh, so by the menu file, I can decide to import an appliance. Um, I only need to select the OVA file that I received. The OVA file um, states for uh, Open Virtualization Archive. Uh, it's a format uh, dedicated to the Open Virtualization format. Um, and, and obviously, many hypervisors are, are compliant to this kind of format, and, and VirtualBox, VirtualBox, obviously, it is also compliant to this format. By opening the file, I can see all the information related to the virtual machine that I'm going to import. First of all, I can see that it's an Oracle Linux 64-bit uh, operating system. It's an Oracle Linux 7 machine. I can see that the sound card is going to be enabled. I can see that uh, the virtual machine or the image has one unique virtual disk. Uh, if I'm good with all of those options, I can start to import. I also have the opportunity to possibly have an higher amount of, of, of memory or maybe an higher amount of CPUs dedicated to the same, I'm not going to start with the import process. The import process uh, will require uh, a specific amount of time based on, on the uh, performance and capacity you have on your device, as well as the size of the appliance that you are going to import. Once the import process uh, is completed, we just need to start uh, the virtual machine that has been created by the same. And from here, I can start the virtual machine. Now, the, the, the Oracle Linux 7 virtual machine is going to boot, as you can see. We are on a Mac, and a Linux operating system is going to boot. With the boot process completed, I can log in into the virtual machine with my own account. And this is the environment that will connect to the company, that will allow all our employees to remotely work and connect to the company and remotely work and treat sensitive data. This VM is encrypted and all the data on top of the same uh, uh, are going to be encrypted. And so this is how, for example, you can easily create a sort of secured access for all of your employees. As you can see, this is the VM already containing all the possible software required to work at Oracle and even required to get access to sensitive data at Oracle. Obviously, proper accounts, so proper ID and password to get access to different systems or different environments are still there, but the important thing for the company is that by sharing this kind of appliance, this kind of image to all the employees, all of them will have to leverage this kind of solution to work within and for the company. And try to, to imagine uh, this kind of a concept uh, applied to hundreds or thousands of different people. So again, here we have one image, built, secured, built, and shipped 
by the company to all the employees, right? And so it does not matter how many employees, hundred or thousand of employees, all of them can leverage the same image and so the same operating system, the same applications installed on top of the operating system. And all of them leverage the same security solution. Even in terms of the future, if you evaluate the future, if you evaluate how to maintain this kind of solution, if I need to, to release an updated application, if I need to release an updated operating system release, I will just have to create one new appliance and release the same to my employees. I do not have to connect to all my employees' systems to get their system updated. I just need to release an updated appliance. And the same will be distributed to all the employees. One unique image, hundred or thousand of employees. I would like to thank you for the time dedicated and here you can also find and see our social accounts where you can get in touch with us. Feel free to reach out for any kind of question related to Oracle VM VirtualBox and the possible leverage of the same for remote work use case.